I'm Brendan, and I'm a storyteller. I seek out the world's best adventures and anecdotes. And I'll go to any corner of the globe to find them. And boy, do I have a story for you. The honor of hosting a modern Olympic Games is among the most prestigious for any city. This summer, three cities are in competition for the chance to host the 2020 Olympic Games. Istanbul, Madrid, and Tokyo. Japan's rich history of sportsmanship makes it a top contender for the award, but what sets it apart? I came to Tokyo to find out. Tokyo has hosted the Games before. In 1964, it became the first city in Asia to do so. I met with Olympic athletes from several sports and asked them what makes Japan the perfect place to host the Games. Tokyo is already one of the world's biggest, most crowded cities. How would they pull it off? Tokyo's governor, Naoki Inose, told me that the city is up to the task. Tokyo is clean, it's safe, and most of all, it has the efficiency they would need to take on the logistical hurdles. We excel in delivery, and since there are so many people here, we will celebrate together. And on top of that, obviously, we have innovation. So Tokyo has capabilities of delivery, of celebration, and of innovation. I visited the National Olympic Stadium for a chance to look into their Olympics past. But a 60-year-old stadium isn't up to the task of hosting the biggest events of a modern Olympics. They've got a big plan ahead of them, which will involve billions of yen worth of construction, massive undertaking for the city, but the impact for what they're looking for and the economics of bringing those Olympics back to Tokyo would be massive for both Tokyo and the whole country of Japan. This design was chosen as the winner because it had a strong impact and also since it was deemed quite difficult to construct this type of stadium and the experts thought it would be a good showcase to demonstrate to the world the architectural technology held by the Japanese people. Even in a city as crowded and massive as Tokyo, there's still plenty of room for the new structures and venues. Everyone is buzzing about this as the perspective site for the new Olympic Village if Tokyo gets the Games in 2020. This will be the area where the athletes stay. This area will also play home to the water events for the thing. Swimming, boating, crew races, and provide a real background of the city to the Tokyo mainland, which you see off in the distance. This whole city is alive with the prospect of hosting the Olympic Games. Everywhere you go, banners are touting Tokyo as a candidate city in support of their bid. At the Hotaru Festival on the Sumida River, one of Asia's tallest buildings is lit up in Olympic colors, and one of the city's most prominent artists has created an elaborate boat display. This second annual festival is becoming a spectacle all throughout the city as people are lining the banks of the river to see these more than 100,000 LED lights that are floating down the banks. Let's get involved. It couldn't be more clear, winning the games in 2020 is everyone's focus. In the Summer Games seven years from now, more than 25 sports will be played by competitors from more than 200 countries. But one sport that won't be handing out any medals is the one sport that, for most, is synonymous with this nation. One of Japan's oldest sporting traditions is the sport of sumo wrestling. We're here today at the championship match to see who will end up on top as two men go head-to-head -head right in the ring. And there's another sport you won't see played next time. We think of it as America's pastime, but even though it was cut from the Olympics in 2008, Japan loves baseball. Being in the Tokyo Dome for a Giants game isn't too different from catching a game back in the States. But one thing's for sure, Nationals Park needs a marching band.